Hello and thanks for joining us, 2K Sports fans, for another exciting presentation of NBA Basketball. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. The Detroit Pistons preparing to defend this battle. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the floor for Miami. On the perimeter, Wade and Dang. Whiteside is out there with Chris Bosch, and it's Dragic in the point guard position. Well, if you remember early in Eric Spolster's head coaching career, when he was new and the big three were assembled, there were some people questioning Spolster's command, maybe even within the team. Those questions are long gone now. He has become an excellent head coach. Monroe, no good. Jennings with the steal. It's stolen by Dragic. By himself. And it's Wade with the jam. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Jennings kicks to Drummond. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. Intercepted. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. Well, that's the easy. Easiest opportunity an offense can get off a steal. Exactly. No defense for that. The feed now to Prince. Pass to Monroe. Nice D from Bosch. For Miami, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Wade with it, and Jennings picks him up defensively. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Bosch that time on the assist by Dang. Bosch has got his first points of the game. Man, a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. There's the double team from Whiteson. Prince dishes to Drummond. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Five to shoot. Jennings passes to Drummond. Well, you knew that Andre Drummond was oozing with potential, but that P word, potential, mm -hmm. you know, can quite often be as much of a curse, Clark, as it is a boon, but he just blossomed last year. Yeah, he really did. I mean, with the way he moves around the floor at his size, you had to know that if he started to put it all together, he would be a game-changing talent, and he showed flashes of that and made a big leap last season. Bosch with the bucket. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. And you said with Drummond, you know, the movement and fluidity of him, he makes the extraordinary seem so easy at times. Very much a highlight reel machine at such a young age. Now here's Jennings. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. Well, we'll see if that shot breaks things open a little bit. It's been a slow start. Hopefully that gets them on the right track here, Steve. Here's Dragic. The drive by Wade. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Miami. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And the other thing they're doing is forcing a lot of turnovers, and that's helping them to get easy points at the other end. Drummond with a screen on Dragic. Here's the lob to the hoop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Wade gets the bucket. 
You know, the highlight plays will always be there for a guy like Drummond. Size, speed, athleticism. But, you know, he was able to take on a lot more minutes last year and did not see an incredible efficiency drop off, which is impressive. I think that could be just a sign of things to come for this young man. Monroe, right side. From the baseline. Cannot hit. The Heat leading by nine. Wade drives in. Cashes in for a double digit lead. Wade's got six points. Mm, their offense has really come together immediately, threatening to run away with this game. It's hard to imagine they'll be able to stay as hot as they've been so far, but if they can, watch out. Now, here is Monroe. And the shot is good. Here's Wade. He's got six. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Eight points for him. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now, you got to make a defensive adjustment here, Clark. Time to collapse inside, force the ball back out in the perimeter, make them beat you from long range. Kicks it out to Prince. It's Jennings with the drive. Rebound by the Heat. Here's Wade. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. He were really in a class of their own last year when it came to offensive firepower and shot an amazing rate. Yeah, they ended with a 50% shooting mark, which is really just off the charts. I mean, to go that entire season at that clip, impressive. Detroit making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Caldwell Pope. And so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. For example, with the Heat, they shot 50% from the floor last year, and the second place team in that category was the Spurs, less than 49. So incredible shooting for Miami. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for Andre Drummond. Williams comes in for Monroe. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Brandon Jennings. And Miami with a change here, too. Napier, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. Williams inside. Nick Roberts there. Fades. And there's the bucket as Williams finishes it off. Williams has got his first basket. You know, just thinking about the heat, it seemed every shot they took would go in and they wouldn't settle for anything less than a great look at the basket. That's really how you get to shoot over 50% as a team. Here's Jackson. After the heat pickup, too. Tolliver, no luck. Oh, and a fast break for the heat. Good, nice play there from Napier. They're allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. That won't get it. Not at all. They've been able to score with ease. On the wing, Jackson. Defended by Chalmers. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the first. Not what they drew up, but they'll take the two points. Miami leading by 13. Sixteen seconds left to play in the first quarter. Three-pointer, Butler. The rebound by McRoberts. And it's on its way from Chalmers for two. And as the first quarter wraps up, already at double digit. Welcome back, everyone, to lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start this second quarter. And quite a position here for the Heat to be in. What do you guys think? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together, really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. 
Well, Mario Chalmers coming into last season made a bet with Ray Allen about how much each could slim down and get in peak shape. It seemed to pay dividends for Chalmers in particular, who had probably the best season of his NBA career. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. We've got Josh McRoberts. Chalmers is out there with Napier. Then there's Chris Anderson. And it's Walker in at the three slot. Here is Chalmers after Karan Butler's bucket. No good from 18. And Chalmers, really not the quickest point guard in the league, but he has active hands defensively and pretty good feet. And those takeaways help get the heat out in the open court, which certainly plays to their strengths. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, Kevin. In the past, as you know, Chris Bosh tried to bulk up, but he's accepted his frame and his finesse game, saying, quote, it's different now. The game is a lot faster. I don't bang anymore. It's not my strength, and I understand that. He's become more perimeter-oriented, and why not, Kevin? He said he realized that you do get one more point for threes. Gentlemen, over to you. Perimeter shooting big men. Very much in demand, Doris. Thanks. Now here's Jackson. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. That could give him a huge injection of energy club. And Kevin, that's exactly what they need right now. They've got to close the gap. Forget about that for a second. How about the burst to the bucket for a point guard? Boy, he can power those down. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And Chalmers, more of a role player for the Heat. Not a huge playmaker, Steve, but he can knock down open threes. Yeah, he's an efficient scorer, uh, and his passing has gotten better over the last couple of seasons. He's a perfect role player for Miami because he can guard opposing point guards extremely well and then slide off the ball when Wade has it. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. Here's Jackson after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. The drive by Jackson, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Boy, they ran a nice play there, Kevin, to uh, set up the easy dunk. Yeah, he got help from his teammate and ran his man right straight into the pit. Yep, and that's the offensive player's job. That's Run right. him into the screen. And it was a great pick, too, Clark. I mean, he, he may have lowered his shoulder a little bit, but he got him pretty clean. So it's Detroit now after the miss by Lou Alden. And now Williams inside. Stolen by Bosch. Here's Drogic. And Jackson with the block. Here's Meeks. Can hit. And Miami the other way now. And it's Dang in the corner. And that's good. And it's Drogic with the assist. Drogic has got three assists now in this one. Pistons trailed by nine. Feeds it to Meeks. Williams, a screen on Wade. Jackson kicks to Meeks. Detroit, no good that time either. Good solid defense on the perimeter there. Challenging the shot and not fouling. Even the 